I, I hadn't heard that. I assume it's procedural. I mean, the process now of that is all taking place back in the Common Pleas Court and uh, with the claims administrator. Everything is still going on that. Three. You haven't hit any snags. Uh, the court has scheduled a hearing for some time. That would be the only potential snag. We're obviously working with the court and with the claims administrator. The Taft administration used to get uh, criticism from Democrats that uh, you know, rebates were given large rebates during uh, election years. And, uh, they perhaps uh, encourage businesses to generate more uh, generously. I uh, just want to get any kind of uh, response to the idea that might be put in motivation. It's part of an ongoing review that we do. I mean, we looked at it last year in the springtime. We realized we were way over the ratio. In fact, it was an audit comment that we got in our external audit that you ought to be looking at this, and that's when we announced a billion last year. Uh, this year, we were on a slightly different schedule because our board wanted to see how the end of the fiscal year numbers came in in terms of return, and, and as well as they are keeping an eye on this asset liability study that so it's all part of the normal course of what we do down there. Our, our rate setting calendar, our rebate calendar, when we have them, it's not a set thing, uh, is, is more a function of the operation of the Bureau than anything else. Are the investment returns primarily because the stock market is just doing so well, or are you doing something different now that is making it? In general terms, our portfolio is a blend of bonds, primarily bonds, and, uh, and equities. And... As long as rates stayed low, we knew we would be in a good place, and, and largely that's what's happened. Even though people a year ago were predicting interest rate rises that might have had a negative impact on our portfolio, uh, we had a good year, and, and our bonds performed very, very well, and the equities had a nice time too. And, and so it just came together to really create a nice year. We're certainly not predicting we're going to do 13.3% in the new year with an uncertain future, as the governor mentioned. But uh, what is the assumption? A four. We use a discount of four, meaning we discount both our premiums and our liabilities or reserves that makes an assumption that there's going to be a 4% annual return. It's not really an investment target, it's a discount. When was the last time you were below 4%? Um, I think last year, fiscal year, we did 3.8. Last year? Yeah. Which year? Last fiscal year, 13 was, I believe, 3.8. So even when we were doing the $1 billion then, that we still had a lower return. Right, but we also were riding a wave where we had had some double-digit returns in the three-year average before that. So yeah, we, if you'll remember a year ago in May, interest rates rose very quickly, and we were headed for probably an 8 or 9% return, and in the last 30 days, again, because that mark-to-market thing, we lost some. So again, that's another reason not to do $2 billion today or some larger number is you have to be prudent about where the market's at.